southbound heading from Garner into Raleigh. So a very big day for people who live in Johnston County. Back to you. Oh, that is huge. Brian, thank you. The Carolina Hurricanes have an off day today as they look to regroup after a game five loss to the Islanders. WRL's Casey Hintz is at PNC Arena with a look at some of the bad bounces last night, including a puck to Sebastian Ajo's face. Hey, good morning, everyone. Last night's 3-2 loss to the New York Islanders was a game of two things. Plenty of chances, but also unfortunate breaks. Just goes to show just how tight the margin is during playoff hockey. But when you want to talk about bad bounces, none worse than Sebastian Ajo taking a puck to the face that would eventually lead to the goal. And the unfortunate breaks kind of rolled from there. That was a real tough one. You know, he's all messed up. <laughs> Bounces right to their guy and taps it in. I mean, that's that, that was a, that's kind of how the night went for us. Just none of, bounces didn't go our way tonight. That's plain and simple. I like the way we played, played hard. You know, we had a couple of mistakes that cost us, but there wasn't a ton of those. It's just the bounces didn't go our way. Kind of didn't know what hit me. Just kind of, kind of came pretty quickly there, and and obviously uh, what, the guy was probably not aiming for my face either. So, uh, but yeah, it's hockey. It happens. Sebastian Ajo, a warrior. He also said, hey, look, we know it's going to be hard this time of year. We were prepared for a long series. Hopefully we can go up to Long Island and do what we did the other night. Casey Hits, WRL Sports, Raleigh. The police say a woman hit someone on a motorcycle on the NC State campus on purpose. Officers are calling it a road rage incident. Officers say the suspect and a motorcyclist got into an argument Tuesday afternoon. Now, during the heated conversation, the car hit the motorcycle twice at Partners Way and Main Campus Drive and then drove off. The victim was not hurt. Police say the woman was driving a silver to gray Mazda Miata with temporary tags. If you have any information on the vehicle, NC State Campus Police want to hear from you. School officials evacuated a Moore County Middle School because of a bomb threat. The district says the threat was reported at New Century Middle School in Cameron Tuesday afternoon. All students were evacuated and then dismissed on schedule at 3 p.m. Nothing was found. North Carolina has lagged in mental health treatment for years. A bipartisan group of state lawmakers are trying to change that. Lawmakers unveiled a plan for how they would spend extra funding the state will get for expanding Medicaid from the federal government. And among it, $225 million would be allocated to improving access to behavioral health services. $200 million would go to building a statewide behavioral health crisis system. And $50 million would go to telehealth programs and a centralized bed registry. Jeff Hogan of the WR Live Center. Brand new video that I want to show you and explain to you that this patrol officer in New Jersey is okay, has been released from the hospital after a hit and run crash that I'm going to show you right now because the video is so amazing and it's a great reminder of why you should pull over and allow police to do their work, just give them some space. Goodness, that car comes tearing through there. It ended up being a 52-year-old woman, and she took off after this was happening. The guy was just trying to give uh, this man in a disabled car some directions on, on where to go and where he was going to push the car out of the way. The woman has been caught and charged with second-degree aggravated assault on a police officer. Just scary stuff. Well, time to look at what's trending. 